Hello guys, it is Teenage Marvel Fan, back with another video, and in today's video I will be reviewing the latest episode of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. titled Window of Opportunity. Uh, once again, I'm still loving this show. I'm, I'm really enjoying this show, man. Y you know, I, I never really got into this show before, but I, I don't know what makes me like it more now than I did before. Maybe it has to do with, like, the fact that Coulson's the bad guy. Um, I like him as a hero, but, um, Clark Gregg is a very appealing villain. Um, like, he, he's a very good actor, and he can really pull off a villain. Um, so yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just get into the review now. I'll, I'll start with... Well, there's like two main storylines I'd say in this in this episode. So I'll start with the one that has to do with Fitz. So in the last episode, we saw that he injected himself with something, and his eyes were all weird, and he was like, he kind of looked like he was forging something maybe. But then in this episode, we basically find out that he is stowing away on this ship where and he's basically working for someone and he is an engineer for them and they're like f farming or breeding Xandarian snails or something but then they find out that he's human and then they get all mad and then they're they're like oh we're gonna execute you and stuff and then Fitz is there with that other guy. I don't know his name. It's that bald guy, but I'm pretty much just going to call him the bald guy for the rest of the episode. Uh, the rest of the view, I mean. Because I don't know his actual name. Um, but he basically says, like, I'm your best engineer on here. Um, what if I work for free and stuff? And then that catches the guy's attention. So then he's like, all right. You can stay if you work for free. Um, so then he works for free, and he does a good job. I mean, he's like a great engineer and stuff. So he's doing a good job working. But then the guy that's in charge, he oh. says, since I have two, since my two best workers, I don't have to pay. Then why would I, I pay a bunch of workers that don't work, that don't actually do things and don't actually work for me so then he's like i'm just gonna execute the rest of the people so then obviously fitz is against this because you know he's an agent of shield he's a hero and he doesn't want them to die and stuff so he does everything he can to try and prevent it but then he's about to execute them and the guy puts them in like like he wa walks them over to this certain area and he locks the door, and then he thinks that, um, that the door is going to open, so then it would send them out in space, and space, and they would get frozen, um, but Fitz, like, he, he protests, so then he's like, if you're going to get rid of them, then you're going to have to get rid of me, too, so then he steps in that little area, and then, uh, the, the dude that's in charge, he's like, all right, well, that's fine. I don't care. So then he's about to do it anyway. And he pulls the lever. But then instead of them flying out the window, it's the leader and everybody else that flies out the other side because Fitz and that bald guy, um, they, fi they figured out, they came up with a plan because they figured that, um, that this dude w w didn't, wouldn't care if Fitz walked over to that place so they basically make that made that plan so that that guy would die and then that all these slaves would be freed and stuff and that he would save their lives and the bald guy was out there so then he was able to uh sh close the door after everybody got sucked out and then he opened the door so that Fitz and the other slaves could get out so then um they were basically on their way to a nearby planet so that they could drop those people off. 
and then they were going to get get some work for them to do so that they could get a life and then then Fitz and the bald guy were gonna go try and cryo freeze him again again I guess and then um right after that you see that Simmons and Daisy and those people that were on the ship in the last episode they are now um nearby where Fitz is on his ship so they're definitely gonna like cross path soon soon so um that'll be interesting to see because they haven't seen each other in a while and they're married and you know like they love each other and stuff so yeah I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that but the main focus on the e in the episode is developing Sarge and the rest of his crew or team. So they're in that trailer truck thing and they're getting ready to go out for a heist. And then um, they go out and they're going to this jewelry, jewelry store. So they take the cashier person that's working there they take her as a hostage so that she can get the door open to the vault and stuff and then they're looking around for like rocks or crystals like topaz and stuff like that because they can use use those for their weapons and stuff so that's what they're trying to find and then sarge takes this gun that it it's hard to explain We'll just say this gun, and then he basically uses it to, like, paint a circle on the wall inside the vault, and they got the vault sealed up so that they can't get out, and nobody can get in. So then they make that circle, and then they, like, open it up, and they basically make a portal there. So then it's a portal between that vault and their trailer truck. So then they are... Uh, like taking the jewels and stuff and putting it in the trailer trucks and so like that that's an easy way to escape but then uh may figures out what they're doing so then she goes back to the junkyard where the trailer truck was she gets in and she starts beating up uh the, this guy whatever his name is and then then Jocko, which is the big guy with the beard, he comes through the portal and starts fight fighting her until um, Snowflake comes in and she joins the fight. Um, and then Sarge shows up and then he's like, I leave you alone for a couple minutes and then, uh, then the whole plan fails or something like that. Um, so then they basically end up shoving her through the portal and then they close it, so now May gets stuck or trapped in the vault. So then Sarge and his crew are able to get away with the jewels and topaz and rocks and crystals and stuff. And not really too much else happened in the episode. I kind of just wanted to go over the main points because this episode was on last Friday and this review was kind of late. So I kind of just wanted to get out there. But anyway, please let me know down in the comments below if you're enjoying this show as much as I am. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video so I can bestow all my Marvel knowledge upon you.